Hi everyone, this is a tutorial to use the Nano Define plugin for um, ImageG in order to analyze transmission electron microscopy images of nanoparticles. So all the information you will ever need can be found in these um, technical reports by the JRC. Um, as well, so it comes in three parts. One, part two, evaluation methods, and part three, SOPs, for preparation of samples mostly. And you can also find all the information in this article um, with all the details. And if you ever are missing some information or have particular questions, I found this website to be quite useful. Um, it's if you want to get into a lot of details. And here is also the NanoDefine website, nanodefine.eu. And a um, few guidelines on the ImageG website, and more information on GitHub. So let's get started. In uh, this article, there's all the detail about um, how to download um, the softwares you'll need. So you'll need Fiji installed as well as R. Um, I found R to be um, giving me trouble to link it with uh, Fiji. So here are uh, a few tips. Uh, first, you should run R always as an admin and then especially to install the um, packages rserve and mass. Make sure also your rserve and mass packages are the ones that are adapted to your version of R. And finally, um, if you haven't been using our tools uh, R in a while, you might want to download our tools and run it to update everything. So finally, you have all that down. You can open um, Fiji and you'll need to activate um, the update sites. So that's in um, update, Here, it's starting up. All the information is here, but I can quickly show you. So um, here is where you'll want to um, manage the update sites, and you'll want to click on a few of these. It's all written down in the information, and also add this one manually, p size. Okay. So there you go. So that's open, and. Um, now we can start analyzing our pictures. So to analyze your pictures, there's two methods you can use. You can either um, drag and drop an image here and have it open, in which case you want to um, put the image in 8-bit this way, manually, for that image. Or if you're going to analyze several pictures, you can do another method, which is import image sequence and choose a folder with your images and the only images. By clicking on one picture, it will upload all of the pictures in that folder. Here you want to make sure that you convert all your images to 8-bit grayscale. Uh, which is the same as what we did clicking here previously, but it will do it to all of the images. So there you go. So next, you can see that um, this image has a scale here, but the software doesn't really know about the scale because when you draw a line across the scale bar, you can make the line always straight by clicking on shift. So when we draw a line here, we see that it says 564 up there. See, and we would like it to say 2000 nanometers or two micrometers. So to do that, we're going to tell ImageG a 
about the magnification of this image. So I like to zoom in on the scale bar to make sure it's as accurate as possible. So I did a pretty good job without zooming. Um, so here, you can put it on. So this line will be used to set the scale bar by going to Analyze and Set Scale. You can tell it that this many pixels is equal to um, 2 or 2,000. Let's work in thousands to have more details. And the unit is nanometers, 2,000 nanometers. And you want to click on Global to um, set this onto all of the images. There you go. Great, so if you don't have a scale bar on your image, um, you can always do Alt-I and have all the information concerning your images, including magnification, um, voltage, and resolution. That's Alt-I. So here we set the scale on all of the images. 